somewhat surprised me with this Knight BD7 Queen B6 variation. I think the main point is just to get a better version of the Poison Pawn variation. I had looked at it somewhat, not not before this game in particular, but I felt that it's it's reasonably dangerous for Black to go into this line, and so I was rather happy when he made the decision. And obviously, after Knight D7, he's just simply lost. Did you have a look at the at the other board? It was a sort of a theme round with his line. Right, I, I did not actually notice that until um, I, I got up from my board around, around the time I played e5 and then I noticed that it was a knight orphan. I, I took a look and then, then when I saw it was bishop c4, bishop b, b3. Um, it's a bit surprised, but I, I, I had an idea of how I was going to play and um, I'm sure Geary's playing a different variation. Well, I think the other game was more successful for white than mine. It was okay, I mean, I, I knew this line pretty good, so I, well, I mean, opening was not a problem for me. You didn't think, uh, let's wait and see what Hikaru uh, tries? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I better trust my own preparation than his. Of course, I had also seen this game, but I did not remember it right off. Um, the game was uh, Brian Smith against uh, Viktor Lazinska from the World Open. Yeah, okay, but I analyzed it for myself at this, I mean... Uh did you, did you visit the World Open this year? Or? Yeah, I played. I, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I mean, I, I wrote an article about, and, and I analyzed this game, Lasnica Smith, oh, okay. for, oh, the, for okay. the next edition for New Chess. Oh, okay. And uh, somehow I, I thought I was, I was following the game, but uh, <laughs> and following my analysis. But, uh, but apparently the guy went 94. Yes. Yeah. And I think even after 94, it's quite dangerous, and I, I'm probably a little bit better. I do know also that in that game, I think uh, Smith was winning at one point and then he blundered. So the whole variation in general is, is really dangerous for Black to go into. And obviously, considering the tournament situation, I was quite happy that Luke played this. With the variation which happened in the Luke's game, I have nothing uh, to do. <laughs> it was uh, his own analysis, which he actually f uh, forgotten after. Uh, but Anish, it was uh, actually, uh, it's, it was the line I, uh, I showed him uh, before the game. Because uh, we were expecting that uh, he would be possibly deviating from uh, Petrov defense. Oh, okay, it was probable he would play for. He likes to play for against players who play Petrov. He plays Petrov himself, so, so it's... Okay, sometimes you have to surprise. Okay, normally I don't go e4, so he might have uh, suspected uh, some tricks from me. It was line. I played against Belavsky in 93, but since then, last few years, there was some theory. And I remembered ideas, but not exactly. But I think I thought this good idea, rook h8, with idea to sacrifice an exchange. And after this, I think it was more or less correct game. I think I have full compensation, but okay, both sides are maybe one tempo short of claiming an advantage. That was actually f uh, f uh, f uh, full preparation until move uh, rook c8, which is actually quite a good move. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, after it was a kind of position which was dynamic uh, equal probably. Yeah, so it, it's like, uh, well, if you check it with uh, computer, it shows like white is better, but in a uh, real game, it's like, well, I think it's around equal. So he basically uh, surprised me, but he played um, fine. But in fact, I got better still, so. Pretty happy with the result, obviously, um, but you know, there's still three more rounds. I, I haven't finished uh, what I came here to do yet.